There's a righty here, not wearing a helmet. They'll flag him down. See, based on that uniform, he should have a professional driver's license, meaning he knows a helmet is required. Oh, there you go. Look, he has a helmet. He just wasn't wearing it. That's a waste of 1,500 pesos. And if you had an accident, you would pray, I wish I had to put my helmet on. Good morning, everyone. This vehicle is about to be put on the tow truck. There is a huge sign over there which says no parking both sides. This is actually a Mabuhay lane. That's why it's not allowed to park here because it's considered as an alternative route. If you've ever wondered why the sidewalk is painted like that, the curb, it's to remind people that you're not allowed to park on a corner. They've already hooked up the towing chain to this vehicle and then they're going to pull it onto the flatbed, which is just over there. There's no driver, so it's unattended illegal parking. And in fact, just in front of the vehicle, there's even another sign reminding people no parking, towway zone. The driver's arrived barefoot. Maybe he came running, I'm not sure. Problem is they've already started pulling it on the tow truck. Once the towing process started, that's it, it's considered too late. The lady is actually calling someone inside the MMDA. Allegedly, the gentleman wanted to settle it by the side of the road, but there's nothing like that. There's no way to pay on the spot or anything like that. It's really a proper process. And that is fair to everyone. It ensures there's no corruption. You just follow the letter exactly as it's written, what the protocol is. If you start releasing vehicles, people will assume that you're involved in some kind of corruption, that maybe someone gave you something. Or the other way around, drivers will take advantage of you and they'll never move their vehicle unless they see a tow truck picking it up. So there's really a lot of good reasons why you don't stop once the towing process has already begun. And that's what the towing protocol says. The other vehicle that was also parked under that no parking sign, tollway zone, has also been hooked up to the tow truck. So both of those vehicles will be taken to Tomana. A ride is running away from the enforcer. No crash helmet on the back. Hopefully another enforcer will catch you further along the road. Okay, just a correction. The ride, did stop. He pulled to the side. Jan Lang. They just flagged down a member of the Jan Lang Gang. You'll see another car being ticketed here. And again, look at the big sign. No parking this side. So it's not a case of not knowing. It's more of a case of not caring. It's not only cars that are illegally parked, so some motorcycles like this one. Nobody came out to claim the motorcycle to show a license, so it did go up on the tow truck for illegal parking unattended. Not only was this gentleman driving the wrong way, but he's also not wearing a helmet or shoes. That's a lot of violations if they put them all on the ticket. Counterflow, no helmet, no shoes. Hopefully there's a license at least. And there you go, no driver's license, so they're actually going to impound that motorcycle. That car was just loaded on the tow truck. I remember before there was a lady here who actually owned multiple illegally parked vehicles. Anyway, he'll have to pick that up in Tamana, Marikina City, obstructing the road. And on the other side, the towing crew are already getting ready to pick this one up. And I can see the enforcer standing with this truck because as you can see, no more sidewalk. It's too big. You just cannot fit that huge truck here without obstructing the sidewalk. And then who suffers? Pedestrians and commuters. A moment ago, I saw a man jogging along this street. Once he got this far, he had to go into the road. Why? The sidewalk became obstructed by this parked car. There's literally no way you could fit a car in this space without obstructing the sidewalk. The white vehicle at least made an attempt not to obstruct the sidewalk by parallel parking. It's a little bit narrow here, but you can walk by. The other one, they just forced it. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. The problem with bicycle helmets is they don't offer the right level of protection in the case of an accident. The money you saved buying that helmet is now wasted because the ticket is 3,000 pesos. Plus driving in slippers, that's another 500. If they just put on their shoes and wore the right helmet, they would never be flagged down, they would never be penalized. That's a very nice SUV, but unfortunately parked on the sidewalk. That's why it's being ticketed. A lot of people invest millions of pesos in their cars when it comes to investing in a garage or paid parking, nah. 
And here's another very common problem in this area. Every single time the team come through, this car wash is obstructing the sidewalk with their customers because it's literally impossible for them to fit a car inside that tiny little space. So pretty much every day, I don't know if it's all day, but every time the team passes through here, this vehicle is parked obstructing the sidewalk and that rider was flagged down. It's quite an older gentleman, unfortunately no helmet. He will be told to push the bike after he's been ticketed. But in my experience, well, many people do ride away or they push the bike until they're out sight of the enforcers and then they jump back on. And this is an interesting style of parking right on the corner. Anyone who got their license through the right process knows you're not allowed to park on a corner like this. And it causes headaches for everyone, every other road user. Anyway, the enforcer is writing out the ticket and I suspect it will be towed away. Again, the sidewalk has been painted to remind people that you can't park on a corner. So even if you forgot what you learned before you got your license, you would already have something in your mind like, oh, why did they paint that bar for the sidewalk? What does that mean? Anyway, in comes the towing crew now. They'll clear this from the road. That's something I don't understand. He'll carry his helmet, but he won't wear it. Here in Quezon City, there is an ordinance. And if Task Force Discipline see him, they'll issue a ticket for not wearing his helmet. That vehicle there was parked obstructing the road and the sidewalk. The enforcer just finished dealing with it now. But the next problem is, look at this. SUV doesn't fit without obstructing the sidewalk also. And this is how it looks now. You can actually pass through as a pedestrian. They know, they really know. That's why the moment they saw MMDA outside, they came running out, they moved their cars. I just wish they could do that even if the MMDA aren't here because you can't have enforcers on every single street. Babysitting drivers 24 seven. The problem with these tricycle canteens is nearly every time there won't be a registration and sometimes there won't be a plate either. There you go, like I said, no license plate here. There you go, he does have a license, so that's good at least. He will be ticketed for illegal parking on the sidewalk. This little old lady crossed the pedestrian crossing now. No one wanted to stop, so I had to try and help her. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. Cheap knee parked on the sidewalk. So once you come across the crossing, you're forced into the road. You see this lady and the one carrying the baby. Where are they forced to walk? In the road. It is part of the Jeepney franchise, a requirement to have a proper off-street parking. You want to know the crazy thing? Over here, there's a Jeepney parked inside and a bunch of other vehicles, although they still have a lot of space. And the gentleman told me it's paid parking. So he's parked outside of a paid parking lot on the sidewalk. If he parked inside and just paid the daily fee, he'll be okay. <laughs> this guy has a lot of stickers on his windscreen. BMP, MMDA and HPG. People will buy them and collect them and throw them on their vehicle. A lot of the time they don't have any kind of connection.